Valley billboard altered to read shoot a school kid. Now this sign along the 15 near Spring Mountain sparking outrage this morning. But tonight the group who altered the sign is speaking to 13 Action News and we are learning it is not the first time they have protested right here in our valley. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine is live tonight with more on this story. Leslie. Trisha, tonight that billboard has been completely painted white, but the group who is claiming to have done this controversial message, leaving their mark right there, they're known as in decline. They tell us they're standing and supporting their controversial message, but even their supporters don't agree with them. Some people were shocked, others outraged. I mean, wear whatever you want, hold up as many signs as you want. Now this is vandalism. The sign that used to advertise a semi-automatic rifle altered to read shoot a school kid only $29. Group behind the message in decline in art collective known for protesting through controversial messages. In order to speak on this from the opposing dissenting view, you have to be louder than an AR-15, unfortunately. Members of the group wanted to remain anonymous when they spoke to 13 Action News, but it's not the first time they've made waves here in the valley. Just two years ago, they were behind a naked statue of then candidate Donald Trump and also distorted this Mayweather billboard. Being rebellious is what we're good at. But an artist who once worked with them on the Trump statue says today's message missed the mark. One of them is an artist, one of them is a vandal. Indecline says many of their supporters are split on today's message and despite the billboard being taken down, they say they aren't done protesting through artwork just yet. We have plenty more planned, but this was the first of many. Now, Battlefield Vegas, who originally had that billboard up, did not uh, approve our request for an interview. But when it comes to in decline, they tell us many of their members actually do own guns. They're just fighting for tighter gun reform. Leslie Money, 13 Action News.